If you're not A-B testing, split testing your ads, then you're not running your ads right. In this video, I'm going to break down three different things with regard to split testing your Facebook ads. Number one, what is split testing, A-B testing? Those both mean the exact same thing and you absolutely, like essential, you need to be split testing, A-B testing your ads. Number two, I'm going to show you how to do that inside of Facebook ads with their A-B test feature, which is super simple to use and saves you quite a bit of time if you use it. And then number three, I'm going to talk to you about which pieces of your advertising you want to split test first before split testing other ones because that actually matters as well. So first of all, what is A-B testing? Here's a pretty good little definition. A-B tests consist of a randomized experiment with two variants, A and B. So you have your one ad set up, everything there, and then you're gonna, and that's ad A, variant A, and then B, in the B ad, we're gonna make one little tweak to one little part of the ad and test those against each other to see which one performs better. And you may have heard me touch on this in some of my other Facebook ads videos, but I learned Facebook ads, like didn't know anything about it, to now I'm learning about it and running ads within just a few days, guys. This doesn't have to take long to learn Facebook ads and to have them up and running. And there was a specific book that really helped me a lot when it came to specifically split testing. And that's this book right here, The Ultimate Guide to Facebook Advertising. And just for anyone who's turned off because they think I'm trying to sell a product, yes, I dropped affiliate, an affiliate link in the description of this video. I do get a little bit of a kickback if you go buy this book through that link. But that's not why I'm telling you to get this book. I'm telling you to get it because it actually goes like really, really, really in depth into why split testing is so effective. Like literally, it can be just changing one word and then your ad can be so much more effective. And so to give you an idea here, this is my Amazon Associates um, where it shows like how much I get if someone does buy this. And so this is that book right here, Ultimate Guide to Facebook Advertising. Uh, Revenue is not what I make. I make the advertising fee, which is literally 63 cents. So I'm not trying to make money off of telling you to get this book. I'm just saying it's a really, really good book to get because it goes super in depth. Again, the biggest thing that I pulled out of reading this book was the importance of split testing, A-B testing, and how effective that can actually be for your advertising. So now let's actually set up some split tests. And these are gonna be real ones for a product that I'm promoting right now that I'm running ads for a client. So we're just actually, actually gonna set up some real ads. So I'm gonna create a new campaign right here. And then I'm going to create a traffic campaign. If you want uh, more in-depth explanations on different types of campaigns or how to set up structure your Facebook ads all that sort of stuff and a lot more I've got a full playlist on Facebook ads with all of that in there definitely check that out spend some time studying those videos uh, I'm not there's no I'm not selling anything like there's no courses nothing like that so I, I really just work hard to put out good information to help people with advertising so I'm gonna do a traffic campaign right here uh, campaign name let's call this uh, a B test one then right here the create a B test is what we're going to use if we hover over the eye test ad sets against each other to understand which strategies give you the best result your potential reach will be divided among your ad sets for accurate a B test results and it says you can test your creative placement audience and delivery optimization strategy so I'm going to click this on and then it's gonna let us select which variable we want to use right here. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I personally think it's very important to test some variables before you test other variables. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but don't test, don't try and split test a ton of different things at once. It's literally make one little tweak make one little variable change and test that against each other because then you're gonna be able to clearly see if one performed better because of that little tweak. But if you have your initial ad, test A, and then on test B, you test a bunch of different things inside there and it performs better or worse, well, you don't know which one of those things actually made it perform better or worse because you did you change too many variables inside of it. And so I think the order in which you test different variables here really does matter. And one mistake I see people making, it can be a very expensive mistake, is they go straight to testing different ad creative, different images, different videos, different headlines. For one, those are expensive, though well, they can be expensive things to create. Uh, you know, if you've got to create several videos, you've got to hire photographers for images, stuff like that. But then also a big part of that mistake is 
if you're testing all that and you haven't figured out the right audiences to put those ads in front of, then you could be coming up with the best videos, the best ads, the best headlines, but you're testing them and placing them in front of an audience that doesn't care. Even if it's the best or the worst, they just don't care because you haven't targeted the right audience. So the very first split test that I recommend is to split test your audiences. And then once you've found an audience that works, that converts, then that's when you want to start testing different ad creative against those audiences because you found an audience that works. So if you put different videos, different images in front of them, then you'll be able to clearly see if this video performs better than this video, et cetera. So let's do that. Let's do an audience test first. So I'm gonna set up an audience split test and then I'll come back and set up a creative split test. So let's go audience, click continue. This is what the next page looks like. Traffic, it has website selected for me already. If we look at variable, it's got audience selected for me already. And then right here is where I'll be able to select my different audiences. We've got ad set A and we've got ad set B and I'm just gonna slightly change the audience um, for ad set B. So I'm gonna set ad set A first and I'm gonna change, I'm gonna click edit. And I'm gonna set the age to 25 to 45 because that's the range of people that this is a this is a bottle that I'm selling here so 25 to 45 I'm gonna leave gender as both English language um, I'm just gonna do detailed targeting this time if you have custom audiences look like audiences then you'll want to select those here I'm not gonna do that for this one or maybe for the test B maybe I'll do a custom audience but now let's just, I'll just stick to detailed targeting, make it easy. So this is for a Kickstarter campaign. So I'm gonna type in Kickstarter. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm going to narrow my audience. And let's do Hydro Flask. Add that in there. And again, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on detailed targeting and how to fill all this stuff out and why, like make sure and check out my Facebook ads playlist. Okay, so I think that's good. Just double check here. Uh, I wanna do people living in this location and that looks good. So I'm gonna click update. All right, and there's our ad set A is set with people who match Kickstarter, narrowed through Hydro Flask, 25 to 45. So what I'm gonna change in ad set B is just the targeting, the interest. And so I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the same only thing I'm gonna change is instead of hydro flask I'm gonna put a different interest there so let's click into ad set B and 25 to 45 English Kickstarter and I'm gonna narrow that and this time let's do camelback all right that looks good I'm gonna click update and now I've just created a split test of two different interests. Now, if I went in here and I, I could definitely, like I could change the age, I could change the language, I could um, use a custom audience. But again, like I mentioned, I think it's important to really just test one and see how that performs against each other. Because if you add too many things in, then you're really not gonna know which one of those improved the ad or made the ad worse. And also if you click this test another ad set button, you can create more split tests, ad set C, ad set D, ad set E, etc. And you can do this all manually. You could just not use the AB test feature, create one ad, and then you could duplicate that ad, make the change inside there, and then publish that ad. But the AB test feature right here just makes it really easy to set it up quickly, it saves you a bit of time. And so placements, let's go manual placements. And I wanna run these just in the Instagram feed. So I'm gonna select that and click everything else off here. All mobile devices, that looks good. I wanna be charged for link clicks. I'm not gonna set a cost control right now when you get charged, impression. And then daily budget right here. This is important because this budget is going to be split between the two ad sets, between the two tests that you're running. So you, you definitely wanna make sure and give it a uh, sufficient budget to spread across the two. And Facebook right here does give you an estimated test power. Uh, you've probably heard me say this if you watch my other videos at all, but a lot of this stuff is sometimes it's good, sometimes it's just 
the platform, in this case, Facebook ads, trying to get you to spend more money. Because watch, if we drop this down to like 30 bucks, it's going to say it's not going to work very well. Yeah, I see 71%. But if we spend more money, then it's going to go up to 95%. And there's tr definitely truth to that because the more money you spend, the more data you'll get back, the more you'll be able to clearly see things. But just, you know, don't fully trust the estimated test power. Um, you can play around with it a little bit more than that and just see for yourself if you get enough data back to, to see a difference. So I'm going to set this to 60. That'll give each ad set $30 a day. And I'm going to run it for three days. And yeah, that's going to drop my estimated test power. That's fine. Um, all right, so now I'm going to click continue. And so right here's where we're going to set up the ad, the actual creative of the ad, whether that's image, video, carousel, etc. And what we choose here is going to be the creative for both of the ad sets that we just created because remember we're testing just the audiences that's the split test and not the creative so this creative will be run this will be the ad for both of those ad sets all right so i've got that ad set up right there and then just come down here and click confirm and now this split test is running and here's what that a b test looks like inside of your campaigns it's got that little hourglass little beaker I guess beaker is the right word for that right there and if we click into it we'll see that right here are those two ad sets we created ad set A and ad set B and then we'll be able to see which one of those performs better so now let's go through how to create a split test for the ad creative so I'm gonna click create new campaign we're gonna do traffic again and I'm gonna call this a B test one creative create a B split test and the variable uh, is going to be creative all right for some reason I've been trying this for like 20 minutes now trying to figure out what's going on and I don't know but for some reason when I click uh, when I set up try to set up the creative test and I click on creative it just takes me to this blank screen and that's it so I guess we're not doing the now I guess I'm not showing you how to go through the creative how to set up creative test but it's the same thing as we just did with audiences it'll give you test a and test B set up your test a creative and then make a tweak to that in your test b creative publish it and then see which one performs better